Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the ComGrow Large Enclosure. Friends, today we are going to hook up the camera to Lightburn. So let's get cracking. All right, so if you haven't seen the earlier videos, we have got this assembled. We created a video for assembling the camera accessory. You can see I've got it plugged in and coming out there, and it's going to connect to the PC in a moment. So many things I like about this enclosure, but I think my favorite is right there, the built-in lighting so that you can see better. What we're gonna do, friends, I do also wanna highlight, that is a fan that we added to help vent the exhaust. Friends, there is a complete tutorial so you can vent the fumes out of your case as well. Alrighty, friends, so I have got the Z1 connected and it's time to hook up our camera. So if you watch the manual, the first thing we have to do is make sure that we have the camera control enabled mine is which is awesome then we go to laser tools and we're going to calibrate the camera lens now the one that we just got is the usb camera it is a standard lens and we are using the 8mp n75 friends when you hit next bam that's it you're finished now the next step is to align the camera. When we align the camera, we gotta pick it. Once again, it is the USB camera. We're gonna do next. Material thickness. Now, like I told you a moment ago, I measured that it's five millimeters. Now, when this first launches, it goes to 180%, which that would be 400 by 400. I don't have a piece of cardboard that big, but I do have one that I think can handle 110. When you press enter, it actually frames your cardboard so you can double check and make sure that it does fit the size you think it is. As you can see, mine nailed it. I'm going to stay with that size. If I had a larger piece of cardboard, I could do it. If I had a full size sheet of cardboard, of course, I could use it, but I'm going to stay with this for now. After some quick camera adjustments, we have got our glasses. And friends, let's hit start and see what this calibration pattern looks like. All right, everybody, so let's open this up. This is also a decent test of how well the fan is pulling that smoke out of there. You can see it is doing a decent job of it. And now over here we can hit next and see what the next part of this calibration is. I could use these buttons to adjust my laser head, but my laser head is out of the way. So I am going to hit capture image. You can see there it is. When the captured image shows all four corners clearly, click next. So I can see all four corners clearly. So I'm going to hit next. Pan and zoom to find the four corner marks. And then double click the center. So I'm going to zoom in. I was able to zoom three clicks. Four clicks, I'm a little bit out. Can I pan and get them all in? That's pretty close. It's important to mark their corners, one, two, three, and four. All right, so right now it says to click marker one. You can see I double clicked it and it made an X. Now I'm going to double click on marker two. I'm going to double click on marker three and double click on marker four. To change one, simply double click a new point next to it. Now that we've marked all four, we're just going to hit next to continue. Bang, we're done. We can hit finish to exit. All right, everybody. So I have loaded my Let's Get Cracking keychain. I've got a piece of black acrylic. I like using the acrylic because I'm trying to test how well we can keep these smells in. I'm going to switch to the camera control and you can see there is my piece of acrylic. All right, everybody. So when I hit update overlay, you can see that we have now got a picture of our project and I want this project to be right here. How cool is that? Remember that blue is just the cut path. So now I can guarantee that that's going to fit. 
I've already got my settings set, so let's go back to cuts and layers. 3300 for the engrave, uh, 690 for the line. I don't have air assist, so I'm going to shut that off. Friends, I'm going to zip down the canvas. Of course, before we cut, let's get those safety glasses. And let's hit start and see what we make. Holy cow, was that slick. Let's uh, get this opened up. Let that vent just a little bit because once again, it is that nasty acrylic. I do absolutely love that all that smell is trapped inside this cover. Helps if you take off the green goggles. All right, everybody. So there it is, the Let's Get Cracking keychain. It cut out absolutely dandy. Was a little high on this edge, so there's a few of those that are kind of flat instead of as round as I originally designed. But oh my gosh, that was so slick to be able to line it up using the camera. All right, everybody. So that was pretty darn slick. The steps for setup were so simple. Oh my gosh. Plugged it in, it was detected, choose that USB camera. The calibration steps, just make sure you've got a piece and find the scale that fits your piece. After that, it was double click on the four corners and boom, we're ready to go. Now this did nudge up like one or two millimeters further than I want, so I may try again. Oh my gosh, that was so fun to be able to just drag my design where I wanted to cut. Bam, as you can see, it was almost perfect. I can adjust it and see if I can get it perfect, but also shoot, all I need to do is use a little Kentucky windage. Bam, I'll have it just the way I want every time. And because this project was done in the enclosure, I don't have any nasty smells, which is absolutely fantastic because there's nothing less cool than the family giving you a hard time because you're making your projects. Friends, of course, if you're interested in the camera, the enclosure, or the laser, there will be links in the video description. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, Hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.